Hey, hey, Stacy Hall from StacyHall.com. Do you find it challenging to actually reach the goals that you're setting for yourself in your online business? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to properly set goals so you actually reach them, so stay tuned. Now, before I share that with you, I just want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Somewhere around this video, there will be a spot for you to do exactly that. Because every week I put out a brand new training designed to help you build your business leveraging social media. Okay, so you set goals for yourself. You're all excited. You're just going like gangbusters. You really want to achieve them. In your heart of hearts, you desperately want to achieve them. But for some reason, you're always falling short. Maybe you even find that you don't even follow through that often with the tasks that would get you there in the first place and you're just struggling to try and figure out how to stay on task and get it done. Don't worry, I've got some great tips to share with you today. If we've never met before, again, my name is Stacy Hall, but my mission is to simplify online marketing and make it fun for entrepreneurs to increase their confidence, influence, and results. So if that sounds good, you're definitely in the right place. How to set goals properly so you actually reach them. This is what we're gonna to tackle today. There are five steps actually that are critically important to this process and many people, including me, I have to admit, often miss out on at least one and sometimes several of these really critical, critical steps. So without further ado, what are they? Step number one is to set smart goals. Okay, what does that mean, set smart goals? Well, the word smart is actually an acronym. And so each letter in the word SMART stands for something that's really important. And in this case, SMART goals stands for specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. So what does that mean? Well, it means that in order for a goal to be something, first of all, worth setting and then actually achievable, you have to make sure that it's very specific. What we often tend to do is we say things like, oh man, I wanna make more money. I wanna drive a nicer car. I wanna buy a new house. I want a different job. I want to achieve a certain rank in my home business. So we say things as wants as opposed to actually specifically stating an intended goal. There's a huge difference. One is a dream and one is an intention. So it's really important to make sure that you set a goal that's very specific. For example, I will achieve the rank of X by X, like the thing you're gonna achieve and the date, for example, like very specific. So measurable means you have to be able to measure it, right? You can't control what you can't track. So in order to see how you're doing and make tweaks to make sure you're headed in the right direction, you need to know what it is you're actually accomplishing every single day. So you make sure that your goal that you're setting can be measured. What is it that you um, can track? Is it phone calls? Is it reach outs? Is it uh, amount of prospects that you talk to? Is it sales? Like, what is it? You have to be able to measure your success margins, okay? So that's the M. Attainable, obviously. So make sure that your goal can be reached, right? So you wanna make sure that you're, um, you're setting something that makes sense in the context of your life at this given moment, okay? And R is realistic, so same thing. Like don't basically set yourself up to say, I'm gonna make a million dollars by Friday, because <laughs> unless that really is realistic for you, you're setting yourself up for failure. T is timely, so you want it to be very time specific. So it's not, I want to achieve this rank or I wanna make this much money. When, by when, set a date on it, put a date, time stamp it, okay? By January 30th, 2018, that specific. That is setting a SMART goal. That's the very first step in the process to achieving what you really want. Step number two, reverse engineer your success. This is the biggest, most unbelievable tip that I ever received and that's to take a look at what you want to accomplish and start there and work your way back to the front. 
Tanya Eliza taught me this and it's so valuable. Start with the end goal in mind and then figure out what your steps are along the way to accomplish that goal. Let's just make this super simple, okay? Say you decide that you want 10 new customers in the next 30 days. So if you set that goal and you've gone through your whole smart goal scenario and you've figured everything out, then you know, okay, by the end of 30 days, I want to achieve 10 new customers. So, so therefore, let's look backwards. Halfway to my 30 days on the 15th day, if I want to be on track to achieve my goal, I should have already gotten five customers, give or take, right? So we don't have to play too much catch up. If at the two week mark, I have five customers, then how many should I have at the one week mark, at the three week mark? Do you see what I'm saying? You need to reverse engineer what you need to accomplish each week, each day, you know, each month, depending on what your goal is set for, okay? Reverse engineer so you know exactly what it is you're going to have to do to reach your goal. So if your goal is financial, it's the same thing. If you say in in 30 days, I want to make X amount of money, then you need to know how much that works out to every single day, what you'll have to bring in daily to reach your goal. And then you need to also think about what do I need to do to bring in that amount of money? How many sales do I have to make? How many um, customers do I have to bring in? How many reps do I have to bring in? Number three, schedule it, everything. Schedule it. I learned a concept called time blocking from uh, Kate McShay. She's an awesome online marketer. And so what you want to do is pull out your calendar and figure out what blocks of time every day you actually have to work on your business uninterrupted. Okay. Not like texting people on the fly while you're in the passenger seat in the car, but when you actually have time devoted to working your business, where are those blocks in your day and your week? Okay, it may not be consistent. You may not have the same amount of time every day. That's fine. Block it out in your calendar and figure out where your tasks are going to be and mark it in your calendar because if you don't schedule it, things will crop up and excuses will be made. That's just human nature. So that is number three, schedule it. Number four, find somebody who's gonna hold you accountable. <laughs> right? Get an accountability partner. This is really overlooked a lot of the time. If you have somebody that you have to show up and be accountable to, it really does help you to stay on task. Nobody wants to show up to their accountability partner and say that they didn't do what they were supposed to do, that they didn't do what they promised themselves they would do. So putting that in place when you set your goal it gives you something to strive for, something to show up and be proud that you actually accomplished. Every day, you need to have somebody to check in with, even if it's just a real quick, you know, hey, how's it going, taking the numbers, making sure that you are honoring your own word. This really goes a long way to helping you truly accomplish your goal, no matter how lofty. Be accountable to someone that's not just you, okay? This is really helpful. And number five, just do it. <laughs> just do it. You've got the time scheduled in your calendar. You set your SMART goals. You reversed engineered everything. You found an accountability partner. You have all the pieces of the puzzle in place. Now it's up to you. You need to do the activity. And it's very very important that you completely divorce yourself from the specific outcomes of that activity as you go and have faith that it is going to deliver the results you're looking for. If you consistently and continuously do the activities that lead to results, it is going to happen. So don't stress about the specific sales on any given day or the specific results on any given day. They're there to strive for, to make sure that you stay accountable and on task. But you may find that one or two days you don't make those quotas for the day, but then on you know the third day, the fourth day, 
you might double your quota and you catch up. So don't worry too much about the specific numbers on each individual day. Focus on the big picture as long as you are doing the activity that is required. You will get there. I hope those five steps helped to show you how to properly set goals so you actually achieve them. This is your chance, your time to get those goals, to achieve those goals that you've been really, really, really wanting to achieve in your life. Can't wait to see you implement them and you know, by all means reach out and let me know how that goes for you, okay? Now before you go, a quick question of the day, what is your big, great, big, huge goal that you're working on right now? I would love to hear about it. So by all means, share with us in the comments below so we can keep this conversation going. If you're not currently on my blog, make sure you head on over to stacyhall.com. I have a ton of free training available to you there. And make sure while you're there, if you haven't already, Pop your information in to download my free prospect attraction blueprint. I created this blueprint to help you to learn how to attract your perfect people to you who are already interested in what you're doing, already interested in your product, your service, and your opportunity so you can stop chasing your friends and family and stop spending all your time hanging out in coffee shops doing meetings. <laughs> if that appeals to you, make sure you grab that while you're there. Okay, it's been super great hanging out with you on this episode. By all means, share this with anybody you think could benefit. I'll see you on the next episode. And in the meantime, go and make your mark. See you next time. Bye for now.